What she's using today is a half ounce Roland Martin Big Bass and I got a number four and a half Hindenbrecht gold blade on it with a uh, man's chartreuse split tail trailer and we're going after bigger fish today. Got one. Got one. It's okay. You caught one. It's Good job. It's a dink on the rattle trap. Good job. Go ahead. Bigger fish? Oh my god, it is. <laughs> Whew, okay. Wow. Yes. Wow. Okay, hold on to him. Get the old. Clamp the old. Hold on, hold on. Quit jumping. Okay, two. Let's get it in the camera. Two pounds, eight ounces. Okay, two pounds mm -hmm. eight. Hold the fish, wow. grab his lip. Two eight. Wow. Had the soles in it. Okay, now we're recording. That's uh, two pounds eight ounces, and that's what we were looking to do. Good fish on the spinner bait. Okay. Okay. All right, we'll let him go. Good job. Okay, baby, go. Good. If you're not saying anything, you will know when you hook a seven, eight pound fish. Oh. You have to let me know. Big oh, fish. I don't think it was. Oh, well, you will know. You will know. You just say, hey, big fish, something. Okay. Why we got the Roland Martin big bass out there? Good job. Got the dinky one. Oh, it's okay. Get him up here. Dinky one. He's a dink. But now you're eight out of nine. Here, you can take it's him It's a dink. Oh, to the wow. Where'd it go? <laughs> he has it all the way down his mouth. Okay. Okay. He's a dink. Okay, he's a dink. It's okay. One of your smaller spinnerbait fish when we're fishing the Roland Martin Big Bass, but you know, that's the way it is. Okay, now you're eight out of nine. I'm pretty sure there's some structure kind of out this way. We've sunk some stuff over the years. You might catch some big ones about uh, a little to the left of this tree and straight out. Oh, okay, so thank you. I have stopped fishing the rattle. And then skip all the way up after you reel it in. Okay. Oh! Wow, you you can't lift him completely out of the water with it like the Terramar. No, oh, I called the fish and everything. That's okay. You thought he was a dink and you were going to lift him up? Okay. It was. It look, looks uh, like a dink. Okay. He was a dink. That's okay. That's definitely a miss. He threw the bait. Definitely a miss. That was my 90% one, too. Yeah, that was definitely a miss. 90%. Now we're all screwed up. There's a hammer to cat again. A lot of hammer to cat. There you go. Here, you can take him off. It's number three, he's a dink, but he counts. Are we having trouble? Don't rip his face. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, it's a dinky. He'll fit in the camera. Another dinky. It's okay. So nine out of 11 with the rod. 
They're doing good. Skirt's coming apart. So. Oh, you said it's a GoPro. It's in low light. It's not good. Well, I don't know. <laughs> Whatever. You, we're still fishing. Get on the other side of the pipe and keep going. He grabbed that close up. Actually, they all have, haven't they? Mm-hmm. Okay, we're in the backyard with the Roland Martin Big Bass. We just went down another lake for probably close to an hour and a half and it was a complete shutout. But that's fishing. I asked her would she rather have a five pound bass or a 10 pound mudfish? And she said, She'd want a 10 pound mudfish. Oh, we got one. Just just stay with it. Stay with it. It's in the brush. He's a dink. See, he's in the brush. He's a dink. Okay, come on. Move around to the other side. He's in the brush. Okay, good job. He's small. Really wouldn't say he's a dink, but uh, we got him on the Roland Martin Big Bass. Good job. Okay, let him go. Still looking for the big fish of the day. Two eight, then two dinks, and then a missed dink that she tried to lift completely out of the water, but it's a miss. It still counts as a miss. Yeah, throw some in the little back little pocket here. That one? Yeah, no, go go around so you can cover that whole little pocket and we can call it a day. So three out of four today and nine out of 11 with the new rod. And she is fishing with the BG 4000 today. Uh, that other reel was a little too sloppy. When I used it the other day, I immediately seen that, so it's shit can. The BG4000 is about three ounces too heavy for that rod, but it seems to be working out quite well. Quite well. It's got some string, extra thick 14 pound line that's really more like. Uh, a thick 17 line so I believe uh, this is going to be her new spin spinnerbait setup for a while and the frogs too it's almost dark out here and the last thing you want to do is hook a 10 pounder and you can't get any footage of it 